anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> Isn't this just a worse in Dirt deck? Yes, true, but yes, it is a worse in Dirt deck, but that doesn't mean it can't eventually be a better in Dirt deck. Shh, it's gonna be okay, guys. It's all gonna be okay. I don't know, can I even play a Bark Beast on turn one? I guess we beat hands that don't have Thermo, so I have to. Ah, That's so bad, dude. Something's wrong with this picture. <laughs> Gonna be honest, I'm not seeing it swim. Then again, I am a horrible deck builder. Yeah, that's the problem, Marcus. You're just not... You're just not able to see the, the big brain realizations that this deck demands. That's... that's... that's all. That's it. I mean, I have to play Bark Beast on one and just be like, maybe he doesn't have a Thermo. I don't know. It's not that bad odds. It's like a coin flip. Whee! And now I have the inescapable second Bark Beast. I mean, what are the odds he's got Static Shock? Look, even against Static Shock, we just got two damage in. Man, but what if we had Glimpse here, though, huh? Yeah, Keeper keeper and Caretaker is a, a trap play. Bait. Huge bait. Never good. Trust. Did she just- did she say trust is a weapon? Is that actually what she said? That's so fucking edgy. Why is that a voice line of hers? That's weird. Look, we won. He played a five mana deep med. God, I missed streaming. I missed you guys. This looks good. R R, dude. Get it in, buddy. Uh Okay, that's a weird play. This is why I'm making a Karma Ezreal guide. It'll be out pretty soon. Full hands. Oh, he's so smart. Fuck, you're right. Damn. <laughs> True, true, put that in your guys. <laughs> you got him, dude. Hey, we won this game, okay? We might have lost a couple of the other games. Fuck! <laughs> We're winning this game, boys. We're winning this game. One spell, two spells. Whee. Best tier one deck. Deck must be tier one. I, I think this deck is just categorically insane. I mean, how else could you explain me winning this game? Look, at 7 health to 20. I was going to. I don't know. I heard... I haven't heard good things. Sick play. Ah, good old prankster. Oh, yeah! Look at this, boys. If this deck was so bad, how could we be winning this game? See? Think about it. Think about it. Eh? Think about it. I couldn't possibly win- And in Masters, no less. Not only did I win a game, but I'm also in- a purportedly reasonably high rank. How could that happen unless the deck was good? How could that happen? Obviously the deck's insane. Uh oh.
Goodbye. I'm basically one of these gay. <laughs> Deck wins again! Wins again! So no Johnny MF, huh? Okay. God, this shield is terrible. What the fuck? Why am I running Black Spear? Good now. I could use Haunted Relic. Make my guy big and strong. Okay. That's pretty funny. I don't know. Would you believe some people play Misfortune here? Ah, oh, fuck. I was so ready. I was so ready, dude. Fuck! That would have been so good, man. <sighs> ah, that's just as good. Whatever. This blooded caretaker card's pretty aight, huh? That's weird, this guy just has three cards in his hand for some- whom? Who needs two drops when you have Vile Fest? Right, press the pick, that's what I'm saying. That's why we're not running fucking mystery. <laughs> he thinks I'm doing good work. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> God, if only this mystery was a 3-2. Yeah, this is an attack, you friend. Yep, there you go, you got it. I don't know, it's just one set Joni trigger, right? I don't know. I do want to keep the board up. I can really brick, like, a Fury of the North hand. Man, he's on a three-card hand. If I trade it down, I any hand that's, like, Fury of the North or, like, second Make It Rain gets so fucked if I trade the board down. Since he's only on a three-card hand, man. This was off the top. It's more likely he's on spells. Oh, man! I kind of want to fuck this guy! His, he's, his play is so fuckable. And I'm also stopping a Sejuani trigger. I don't know. I mean, the, the one downside is I'm, like, sort of hurting my own Thresh. But that's such an, like, a, an exploitable play. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know. Am I really going to gain an advantage by passing here? That's so easy. Eh. I don't think there's enough to gain. What's the odds that Ezreal Thresh has potential? I think that it's, it's really low. The, the problem with Ezreal Shadow Isles is that this pink region is pretty good. Sick hit, dude. Bro, I'm elusives. This box could be about to go huge. More likely, it's just a Sejuani here. So, Sejuani from the right side. Start collecting Neverglades. What is a Neverglade anyway? And why does he collect them? So we're just gonna start dealing damage, basically. Interesting. Neverglade is a place in Shadow Isles. That doesn't make sense though. You can't collect a place. And Swim's taking all the good cards out of the deck. 
Wait, what else did I take out? So I think you kind of have to drag the Hawk. His- I- I want to point out, his odds of being on Fury of the North are literally, like, over- it's over 90%. It's over 90%. So I, I want to, like, you know, play it safe against the Fury of the North. Insanely high odds. It's about the highest odds even have the possibility of being in the game. And it's over 90% because- so he's got five, because he's got three Furries and two Sejuani's. He's like, he's keeping mana alive here on, on a turn where he, he, he literally has to have it. It, it. It's like, it might be like 98%. It's insanely high. His hand range is like so narrow. He's been playing like a lot of these weird kind of reactive turns. And this guy might just die to this, by the way. I don't know, Precipic, you really think this deck is bad? Uh-oh. No. Oh. Spare my... Ooh. Oh, that's a low roll. That's a sick low roll. I think this guy's just dead, right? Pretty sure he's just dead. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that kills me. Goodbye, my friend. I mean, yeah, we just killed him. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's pretty good. Isn't this a worse pranks to burn? And like pranks to burn is really bad. Yeah, th those are both true, huh? Shit, that is a good point. Let's keep trying. I don't know. I think pranks to burn's underrated. Mist Wraith is the centerpiece of the deck. Precipic, I am probably the the person in Runeterra that has spent the second most time thinking about Mist Wraiths. Probably, there's probably only one person that has spent more time thinking about Mr. Wraiths than me. And I can tell you, it's, it's gotta, it can't be right. It just doesn't make sense, Precipic. It just doesn't make sense. Am I keeping Relic? I don't know, I think Relic is kind of a bad card. Why am I running Relic? What is this deck? What's, like, what am I doing, actually? Ooh. I don't know, we keep attacking on evens. This is a deck that really wants to attack on odds. Who's the number one? The number one is Precipic. <laughs> I mean, that's a funny draw. This is not a worse prankster burn, okay? It's a different prankster burn. Can't just say things are worse because- No! This is fine. Whoa. Whoa, what? Wait, 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 wait. What? What is that attack? What? Two mana? What? Singular combat? I mean, if he wants the singular combat, that I, I'm not gonna mind that. I mean, maybe he's running a... Something... Radiant... Radiant... What? God, people have not run that card in so long. I don't even remember what it's called, but it's Radiant something. Maybe he's running Radiant something. I mean, it would be really funny if it is singular combat. It is sort of like a, a telegraph for singular combat. Here, singular combat me, dude. Yeah, press it. Yeah, ship it. Yeah, yeah, what's the worst that could happen? And, uh, also, don't have Ranger's Resolve, though. Okay, um... Ooh. Wow, that's... That's a very fortuitous series of events. Yeah, that, like, hmm. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know how that happened. Wait, this is a lot of attacks. How can this be a worse prankster burn if we're winning chat? Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, this is a lot of damage. Oh, uh... Uh... My, my friend, Mr. <laughs> We're gonna lose to this guy too. <laughs> We're gonna lose! This prankster is about to get some damage in, boys. You you guys have ooh. ooh, oh fuck. Oh, that's so baity. I have to prankster here. You guys have no idea how sick this prankster is. This is like the sickest prankster you've ever seen. This prankster is gonna win me the game, boys. Okay, so we we eliminated second combat from his range. Cause he would have like played it on the grasp stack. Ook ook. <laughs> you guys are about to see the craziest prankster value you've ever seen. Look, he has to block. He, he realizes if he takes that two damage, he dies. Unless he plays a challenger, but his deck doesn't really run too many of those, right? Yeah. Ooh. No. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. Okay, GG. <sighs> Look at this, boys! Deck keeps winning! We won three in a row! Think about it. If this was a badge deck, how would it able be able to achieve such statistical validity? You couldn't get those results in a row! I love it when people say that phrase, in a row, like it... Like it's some kind of new statistical like evaluation method, the the in a row me What the fuck does in a row mean? I keep I hear people say it and I don't know what it means. <laughs> but people like using that phrase. In a row. Look at that shit. Uh-oh. Wait. Wait, we lost. Two in a row! Two games in a row! How could that have happened if this deck was so bad? I ask you. Impossible. It couldn't have happened. There's no way.